Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, gel loading practice kits, uh, one of the mini labs that uh, the mini one offer. Um, it seems fairly straightforward and simple to load a gel, but in actuality, uh, it's probably one of the most basic techniques that a lot of people, uh, particularly students, uh, are not familiar with. Uh, one tends to assume that people know how to use a pipette, knows how to adjust the volume, knows how to read them, and also know how, know how to load a gel. And so you do a lot of uh, work, you get the DNA, and then you end up loading it, and it didn't load right, so the band doesn't run right, and you don't get the good results that you should get from uh, all your hard work as well as using uh, the Mini One system. So we, we uh, essentially designed this in order for people to practice uh, how to use the pipette, how to load, uh, so that when they come to load the real samples in the Mini One, uh, it is perfect and they get the perfect results that uh, you should expect from uh, using our Mini Labs and the Mini One systems. So what it consists of is essentially these uh, practice gels. These are non-reusable, but their consistency is very much similar to the gel uh, that you will be using in the Mini One. It comes pre-packaged with uh, three rolls of wells, um, and so that if you have a class of 30 and you have groups of 10 kids, each one of the kids can actually practice one roll of these wells and compare the results with their um, uh, teammates. So you peel this back and uh, you will need a black surface to, to do this. They will make it uh, visualize better. So we use the black surface on this uh, laboratory bench and we come with a die that for you to practice and a pipette that is a 2 to 20 microliter pipette that comes with the Mini One. Uh, we today will use 10 microliters uh, for loading and uh, there's also a way to, to show one of the way to um, load the gel so uh, this is uh, you insert that in there and you take out 20 microliters and then what one normally does in my case is you simply want to hold the pipette and have a little bit of control you go directly on top of the well and you load and then you push off and then and there's the loading of the well. So from, from the way how the, the, um, this die stays in the well, whether it stays in or comes out, uh, whether you're able to actually uh, expel the liquid into the well, will show the students um, how much, how far they have to insert the pipette tip, and as well as um, uh, what to do uh, when they have expelled it. Uh, for example, uh, when you uh, have the material in, uh, when you go load, oftentimes the first time the students that does it, they will go push the, f the sample into the well, and before they pull out, they actually release the button. And what happens is that if you are in there and you are releasing the button before you pull the pipette tip out of the well, you essentially are sucking back all the sample into the tip. And most people are not realizing that. Uh, this will give them an idea uh, what uh, the consequences of some of the, some of the actions they do if they don't follow and do these things in a particular sequence. So we will next load a gel perfectly.